What's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to download and set up any JavaScript um, project that you want to run on your computer that you find off of GitHub. Now for this example I'm going to show you off using my silent auction application which is a React Native app but it doesn't matter. You could be downloading a web application. Anything that's JavaScript you'll generally do it in this way. So this first thing you'll do is you'll click on this clone or download button. I'm going to click this to copy it to my clipboard and then I'm going to come over to terminal. And now you need to have git installed on your computer which I do so I can then do git clone and then the URL that we just copied over and then at the end I can specify a name like I could say sample one and it would download and sample one just uh, tells it what you want the folder name to be so sample one and I can see all the code was just downloaded off of GitHub onto my computer. Now we're not done yet. I can't just run this JavaScript application. What you need to do is you need to install its dependencies. And to do that, you need you have two choices. Usually you'll be doing npm install or npm i. Um, and you can just run that and it'll go and it'll fetch all the dependencies, right? The other way is if they have yarn set up. You can see I have a yarn lock, that's how you know I have yarn. Um, you can also just run yarn even if it isn't set up and it'll set it up for you. I prefer doing yarn. If you don't have yarn, it's just an alternative to npm. You also use, I use them in conjunction. It just installs things a lot faster than npm I found. So we'll go and it'll fetch all the dependencies, right? Um, and then that's it. You install the dependencies, and if you do not have yarn and you want to get it, you can do it like this. Yarn, you can do npm install global yarn, and you can start installing stuff with yarn like that. So, just to recap, you'll clone it off of GitHub, and then you'll come in, you'll do npm install or yarn, install the dependencies, and then you can run it, which is usually npm start, and it'll run the JavaScript application. Now, there's one other important thing. When I'm running, let's see if it added it. Yep. Uh, you'll notice how I have a node modules folder on my local machine. But if you look here, there's no node modules to be found. Here are all the folders. There's not a node modules folder. You should not be putting your node modules folder on GitHub. This is very important. I see a lot of people doing this. Um, it's important not to, uh, if you're going to put something on GitHub, you don't want to put node modules. To get node modules, you get that after I do npm install or yarn. So you'll notice in all my projects, you won't see a single node modules package. Because you should be creating uh, node modules on your computer with npm install after you clone the library. And so to avoid adding it to your um, project or onto GitHub, you want to edit your .git ignore. Now you see in my git ignore, I have node modules. Oops. Right here. So it's just a single line. There's a bunch of other stuff in here. You don't have to worry about that. But node modules, um, you specify it like this, and it will ignore it when you're using git and you're putting it on to GitHub. And that way it won't add it. That's important. All right, that's all I wanted to show uh, and share with you guys. It is important not to add your node modules onto GitHub, and you get the node modules by using yarn or npm install. By the way, uh, I don't know if I was clear about this. npm i is the same as that is the same as npm install. Just want to make sure. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.